We're going to plant asparagus today. It's one of them crops that not a lot of people in the south are aware of. I know when I was coming up, we never had asparagus. We would come up kind of poor. And uh, we had a lot of salmon patties, chicken and rice, things like that. And I thought asparagus was something only the rich people ate. As far as I know, I never ate any until I got grown. But uh, we seem to like it. We like it grilled, sauteed. I planted some about four years ago, uh, about a 40 foot bed. And we've really enjoyed it. So I ordered some more and we're going to plant some more today. And I'm going to show you how that's done. A little misnomer is here in the south, don't, a lot of people think about growing asparagus. Asparagus grows fine here in the south. I hadn't had any problems whatsoever. We gather it for about a four week period in the springtime. And about every other day, we get a plenty for two people. Now, I like asparagus, but that's a lot of asparagus. So we have plenty to eat and plenty to give away to family and friends. Uh, the rule of thumb is about 20, 25 feet of row per person. And we're gonna plant 50 feet today. And that'll be a plenty for for two people. Now, if you got a family of four, probably find a hundred foot row. Uh, but after about three years, it grows and you can cut it at least every other day, sometimes every day. Now, the way I would recommend planting it is through crowns. And I'll show you here what we got in. You can plant by seed or you can plant by crowns. And take my advice, go ahead and spend the money and buy you some crowns. These came in yesterday, and they come in a bundle like this right here. And what we'll do, this is the crown here, we'll plant that up with the roots down, and you kind of let them spread out. Now what we ordered was 25 crowns of Jersey Supreme, and then 25 uh, crowns of Pacific Purple. And that's a purple variety I've never planted before, but I thought I'd give it a try. So we're going to we're going to take the wheel hoe and we're going to knock out a little fur there and we're going to take the shovel and we're going to make a trench about 18 inches deep and as wide as what that shovel is and we'll show you how we plant it and then how we cover it up and go from there. So we got 50 foot of bed here and I got it trenched out to about 8 inches deep. We got 25 of the Georgia Supreme I'm going to plant first and then I'm going to finish up with my purple ones on the end. We're going to plant these crowns 12 to 15 inches apart. Now here's the crown. As you can see there, that's the top side. So what I'll do is I'll place it in there like this right here and kind of spread them roots out like that. Some of them are bigger notes. Just want to make sure that crown is pointing up. Now when I get through planting these, I'll come back and I'll rake in about two inches of soil on top of that. That's still going to leave a pretty good trench. When they start sprouting and coming through that, we'll take good compost and start filling in our ditch. Now we'll put about two inches in at a time until we get it back up ground level. And that'll help cover up any weeds that's coming up in there and give a lot of nutrients for these crowns. Now normally, what you'd want to do is you want to make sure that your pH in your soil is around a 7. So you want to take a soil sample and see. Now mine is around 7, so I don't have any problem there. If your pH is low, you want to add some pelletized lime to get it up. It takes about three months for lime to be activated. But realistically, you can do it a week or two before you plant. Another thing too is phosphorus. Asparagus crowns like a lot of phosphorus. So organically, you could add bone meal in this trench here if you're low on phosphorus. My soil is very high in phosphorus, so I'm not worried a whole lot about that. But you could put bone meal down there and that'd help give them a boost.
Well, there you have it. Didn't take us long to plant the asparagus. Uh, remember, you need your pH around seven. Make sure you order you some good crowns off the internet. Now we ordered from this company right here. They came when, that's my first time ordering from them. They came when they were supposed to. Uh, everything looked good, so it's a good company as far as I know the dealings I've had with them. But find you some good crowns. Now you want to plant asparagus after the first frost. Uh, this is the first of March here in South Georgia. We're supposed to be around 33, 32 degrees tonight. So we should be fine. But normally we want to plant those after a after all the frost is gone. And this should be our, little, our last little cold spell. Asparagus is one of those plants that's overlooked in the garden lot. It's probably the one we enjoy the most out of the garden. So give it a try. Thanks for checking us out and make sure to subscribe to our channel.